It's not what? This furnace is full of coal. The boiler is full of water. What? What? What do you mean? Oh my god! I should have read the instructions again! Damn it! Guys, you guys, you guys remember when we played Distraint? This game looked a lot like Distraint when I was watching uh, the trailer of it. And I was like, damn. I, I totally gotta check this thing out. So, this is about a detective investigating a murder. And I don't know, the gameplay just felt very reminiscent of that whole, like, distraintiness, distraint. So, you know, I gotta impulse buy everything, and this is the thing that I chose to buy. What was that thing? I got knocked out before I could react. Better not ponder on it too much and continue my search. What? No, that, that seems really relevant. What? Why would you not ponder on it? Yeah. Feels very, very much like distraint to me right now. I must have dropped it. Fortunately, it still looks fine. My old camera. Hmm. Let's see. I guess see to take photos. And I can keep spamming it. So I guess stuff can pop up. Oh! Okay, hang on. Can I not move to the other ones? I guess I can only open that one. Okay. Oh! There's a dead cop! Yeah, this is uh, a game that looks like Destroyed. This is not Zenderail, you're right. The stairs are blocked. And there's a dead guy. Can I sprint? Sure can't. Let's see what over let's see what's over here. What happened to him? I don't know, but I'm gonna take a picture. Hang on, let me let me get my good side. There we go. Me and dead guy. Alright, uh E. I don't think I oh this one too. No nothing. Alright, well let's go. Did I just take a selfie with a dead cop? Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Got another one. I'm gonna send that one to my wife. Who I'm not sure exists in this game, but okay. Looks like it's missing some parts. This feels so much like distraint to me. It's like not even funny. It needs, to, it needs power to work. Okie dokie. Let's go over here. Hey, what's up, Emily? What's in this locker? This boiler is full of water. Oh my god. Now let's go. Turn on the power? It's not working. Classic. This furnace is full of coal. The boiler is full of water and the furnace is full of coal. How are you doing, Emily Wemily? Okay, well, let's go back this way. I'm gonna go over here. Straight up the freaking stairs. You're dead from your classes already? Well, actually, no. This police officer is dead. Selfie. Nothing. Looks like an instruction manual. Make sure the furnace doesn't run out of coal. Close the valve so you don't lose steam. Don't stick your hands in the cogwheels. Whoa! Oh my god, I would have never figured that stuff out if you didn't tell me. Thank you. Give me that cogwheel. Let's go back. Put the cogwheel in. That was easy. Hey, what's up, Nika? How you doing? Zen. Ah, there's another cogwheel. Whoa! I guess I couldn't interact with them until I read the instructions because it's not the most basic logic ever. Thank you. Should work now. Let's go turn it on. It's not what? This furnace is full of coal. Wait, make sure the thing is closed. 
Where's the thing that I gotta close? The boiler is full of water. There we go. Is that what you want? What? What? What do you mean? Do I gotta keep turning it? Game's lying to me. Oh my god! I should have read the instructions again! Damn it! Alright, hang on. Should have worked now. Don't lie to me! Don't lie to me! Oh shit, I should have actually... Oh, there we go. See, I know how to read. I'm smart. It's not what what Oh god, there's another turny thingy. There's another turny thingy I gotta go find. Hang on. I got this. I'll find it. You guys don't know, but I'm a scientist. There it is, see? I'm a genius. What oh no! No! Uh you didn't see that! You didn't see that! Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Guys, you didn't see that. I knew exactly what I was doing. Oh, what? Wait a minute, what? Wait, was this here before? I don't remember this room. Acquired bloody I tire iron. That doesn't sound like a good thing. That sounds like a very bad thing. Nope. This isn't normal. This isn't normal. This is definitely not normal. Let's just leave. Wait, wait, hang on. Did the door just lock? What? I should have taken a selfie in there with all those skulls. That's what your room looks like right now? I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'm just gonna accept the reality. Am I supposed to take a selfie with the call? Is that what you want me to do? Oh, wait, I forgot to put the tire iron inside of the thingy. Yes, yes, I know. I predicted the future. Ica was going to say that in 10 seconds. Aha! I'm a genius. There we go. You see, I'm a scientist. Now we can turn on the power. Saving! God damn, Zen, you're so smart. You're the greatest scientist ever. I'm a scientist. I'm a caseworker. I'm a detective. I'm everything in one. I'm a streamer. Well, how about that shit? As the elevator slowly ascends, I can vaguely remember how I ended up in this predicament. When most people would usually be home after a hard day at work, I was still at my office reading through old notes. What did you think when, uh... I knew it! Because it could immediately recognize this guy, so I was like, Oh, he must not be a good person. He must be a high school bully like Ika. I was quite surprised when someone decided to pay me a visit in the dead of night. Annoyed and curious. Because it's not curious. It's curious. Curioso. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. I opened the door and to my, and to my surprise I saw a somewhat innocent and troubled young woman. I invited her in and decided to listen to her story. Would you like a cigarette? Yes, please. Make her addicted to nicotine. Detective... Beard hill. No, I don't smoke. Hey, she kind of looks like Abakaga. Alright, I'm gonna call it Lady Abakaga. Neither do I, but most clients need a puff or two in order to calm down. 
In any case, do recall in detail what brought you here, Miss Sabakage. Elisa Rouse. Close enough to Kabakage, obviously. <coughs> Recently, I started to notice a man staring at my bedroom window whenever I return from work. Ika, I don't believe you. At first, I just thought it was a coincidence. It's a busy neighborhood, so there is no reason for concern. But yesterday, I visited an old friend and stayed at her place for a couple hours until nighttime. While walking home, I saw him again in the, in the distance. Not following me, just staring. He didn't approach me, but he's always watching. Slender man. Now I'm constantly looking over my shoulder, even on the main streets. It happened too many times to be a quinky dink. I'm being stalked. It could be that you were overreacting. Should I be like asshole Detective Beardy? There's no reason for concern. Wait, all of these are like fuck you answers. All of these are fuck you answers. Wait a minute. There's no correct answer here. They're all fuck you answers. There is no reason for concern. Because I am that man. It could be that you are overreacting. Stop being a baby. His activity doesn't seem threatening. This is a very typical police answer whenever ta uh, talk of stalking comes up. There is no reason for concern. Because I'm your stalker. And then I like pull off my beard and I look exactly like that guy. I wouldn't have come here if I thought this wasn't serious. Abakage, you're fine. I tried going to the police, but they brushed me off. Wait a minute. I thought I was a detective. Oh, I'm a PI. I'm not an actual police officer. Wow. Detective Beardy, you just lost cool points. They are too spread too thin, they said, and couldn't send someone on uh, someone to check. Won't you help me? Right now, I would like to ask some questions about this stalker. When did all this start? Where does he usually appear? Have you recently been in a relationship? That is all I need to know. <laughs> I need to ask some questions. That is all I need to know. <laughs> okay. Have you recently been in a relationship? No, I've been busy with work for the past three years. Besides, I am not that popular around the workplace. Anyone in particular that might have an interest in you? Not that I know. I usually focus on my work and keep to myself. I'm trying to gather enough money to start my own little shop. This sounds very much like Abukaga, actually. What do you have in mind? A bakery. I always love to bake. Oh, no, wait, no. It's Baker the Bard. It's him. It's him. I knew it. He look She even looks exactly like Baker. Especially donuts. I am sure the constables will be very pleased with your new business. You will have more cops there than the police station. Wow. How very copsist. I'd rather not have to deal with any policemen, but you'll always be welcome. That, okay. Wait a minute. Why? I appreciate the invitation. I will give you a discount. It's the least I can do. I have diabetes. <laughs> I wish he responded that. That seems like what he would say. There is a bus station near my apartment that I use daily. He usually appears there after I come home from work. Every night? Yes, looking straight at my window. Maybe he just likes the curtain to shit. He usually stays under the tree to avoid the rain. Come to think of it, I never saw him with an umbrella. Well, best place to hide is in plain sight. Does this mean he has experience? Or he is a sloppy amateur that lacks subtlety and an umbrella? Oh. What does he wear? Just a raincoat, but he always sits in the dark so I can't see his face. This sounds a lot like me. I feel like the game is leading up to me just being crazy and actually her stalker. That would be hilarious. Does he talk to someone or smoke? No talking, but sometimes smoking. Wait a minute, but I just admitted to sometimes smoking. All right. When did all this start? I first noticed him six days ago. Did anything special happen that day or before that? Not really. There were no changes in my day-to-day -day routine. That's all I need to know. So, detective, will you help me? 
<laughs> what happens if I just fucking refuse? <laughs> I, I actually want to know what happens in this game, but I kind of want to be a fucking asshole. <laughs> refuse. <laughs> you guys are such assholes. Oh, you guys want me to refuse. I don't know what happens if the game just fucking ends if I refuse. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Fuck you, lady. I'll need to investigate missing dogs. With all due respect, you should have brought this matter to the police. They can offer you protection and give you your fan a, res uh, a restriction order. All I could do by contracts is to gather information on them. I'm sorry, Miss Roos, but this is a job for the police. I understand. Fuck your donuts, lady. I don't want to. <laughs> What? Okay. If I get the bad ending for this, it's because of you guys' fault. You guys told me to do that. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to be some shit where she's going to, like, later wind up dead. And I'm going to be like, oh, no! I should have taken the case! Who would have thought that chat would lead me to the worst decisions possible? Wait a minute. Hang on a sec. Oh. I need a key for this one. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. There's weird noises. This door is stuck enough. Okay. What was that noise? Mmm, that's normal. Just another day in the office. Just another fucking day in the office. What? There's a chair moving straight at me? Oh, that's normal. Let's go. There's something carved on the desk. Who is dead? I see this in every horror movie with crosses. So this is actually very normal. Fuck you, game. This happens all the time. I think it's boarded from the inside. Are you alright? Can you please open the door? They won't let me go. Who won't? You're bad at answering questions, lady. I am a detective that's here to help you after all. I do with this fucking crowbar. You got a crowbar. Wait a minute. What wanted a crowbar? 
Wait, what? What do you mean Zen can't have the brownies I make? What did Zen do? <clears throat> the door is stuck, but I've got a crowbar. Why is the crowbar not unstucking the door? What the balls? What kind of crowbar is this? I want my money back. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I'm lost. This has just dawned on me. It's a plot specific crowbar. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Well, I'm back here now. So I haven't seen anything that wants a goddamn crowbar. But, but I'm back here now. What? Hang on. Well. <clears throat> Better go cry in the corner because I'm a bad detective. Oh, I think I found it. There we go. This is obviously where I'm supposed Nope. This is clearly not where I'm supposed to be. This is clearly not where I'm supposed to be. Guys! I'm lost. I hope you're ready for me to spend the next two and a half hours walking back and forth through these goddamn hallways. Oh boy. Wait a minute. No, this is it. This is definitely the room I was looking for. This is definitely it. I got it! Wait, it. Wait, did I get it? I don't think I got it. One, two, three. No, no, this, this can't be it. Guys, I'm fucking lost. I'm gonna need some coffee to get through watching this. Sure, drown your sorrows in caffeine. While I drown my sorrows in... N that, never mind, I was about to say victory. I thought I found the door, finally. <clears throat> of course not. That'd be too easy. Don't worry though, you guys. Investigator Zen is on the case. Zen knows what he's doing. Just leave everything to Zen. Nothing bad will happen. Aha! I finally did it, because I'm amazing! Boom! What now? What now, chat? Laughing at me. You see what happens when you leave it all up to me? Wait a minute. What the? Wait a minute. It is locked. What? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh, what happened? Oh shit, did I glitch it? Was I not supposed to go in here yet? Uh... Um... Okay.
Thank you. Cameras are obviously the answer. Come in. Hey there, Elric. Got a moment? Sure, what happened? A murder case that's starting to grow cold. Interested? It depends. What have we got? A week ago, we found the body of a young woman called Bella Reedens inside her apartment. The cause of death was strangulation. The door wasn't forced open. Nothing was stolen. We believe it was a crime of passion. Ah, How romantic. Similar to what happened in Desperate Chefs when Bruno arrived home. After he won second place in the desert cooking contest. Yes, just look at all the passion. That's not all. The killer made some post-mortem cuts that was... Uh, there was barely any skin left on, the, on, on her face. We believe it was someone that had keys to her place and liked her more or less. How passionate! God damn you, Ica! Did you question our partner? Yes, and he is a solid alibi. We also checked family, friends, neighbors. I even went the extra mile and asked around the r a restaurant near her place. Whoa! No way! You ask questions as an investigator? Oh boy! You deserve an, You deserve a pay upgrade. <laughs> wow. Did you know that those guys make some of the best pasta in town? I will keep that in mind. Anyway, right now we are checking her background. But with most of the cops being reassigned to other cases, we are running low on men. What do you say? <laughs> just, every single case, I just fucking refuse it. <laughs> this, every fucking case. No. I'm sorry. I only investigate missing cats. <laughs> Very well. This case managed to pique my interest. Can you give me a ride to the station? I would like to take a look at her autopsy report. Sure thing. Before we go there, we really need to stop by that restaurant and get some pasta. Trust me, you'll like it. Wait, are we just not fucking going anywhere? Am I just gonna walk back and forth through this fucking place? Is that the game? Wait, what the fuck? I need the combination first. We didn't even go to the station! This is not how you go to the station! This gas canister is empty. Looks like some kind of weak acid. What the fuck is this place? Is this my office? What a weird office. The gas canister is empty. I just realized I don't have fingers. I've got, I've got fisty cuffs. Now you guys can't unsee that. I cannot jump over this. What the? Okay. Well, let's go back this way, Chief. I don't have fingers like God, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that, because I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna clip it, but I'm not gonna let you. I'm so confused and lost. Someone help me.
What is the point of lockers? I need something to remove the lock. Acquired chemical one. This must be one of the three chemicals. I'm scared to ask what those clips are that you got yesterday, so I'm just gonna pretend they don't exist. Wooden plank? No way. Dude watches Ed, Ed, and Eddie. So is this a part of the game just to represent you solving the case? Or do you, do you just have a super weird office? Hell if I know! I have literally no idea what's going. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Gas canister. Wait a minute. Oh, I just made a shortcut. Yay! I love it. This makes me happy. I hear some sort of great beast. This should do the trick. I need more chemicals. The fuck am I doing? I am not a scientist. Wait a minute. What was that? I hear noises. Is that a car? Or is that some sort of beast? I've been playing too much Bloodborne. Or maybe you just cannot play enough Bloodborne. Ah, what do you think of that? Nothing killed me when I did that. Do I go to the left? I guess so. Man, I hate it when I've walked through the, an entire place. And I'm I, I'm missing like one freaking item. And I don't know where the item is. So I just get kind of waltz back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I just, I just never find it. I just never fucking find it. I need a combination first. I bet you that's where the chemical is. I don't know why I keep the chemical in a safe with a cross next to it. Am I like... Is, is it like, I don't know, Satan's like, I don't know, eyeball fluid? I don't know. I don't know. Ah! I've looked everywhere. Time to take a picture. Thank you. Ika! Ika! In that circumstance, I was thinking my right, not my dude's right. That's why I got confused. You should know this. What is that noise? Does someone have indigestion? didn't work. Okay, I came from the uh, is left. But this is a gate. Ah, fuck! Picture time. Didn't do anything. 
picture time. Didn't do anything. But I'm what? But I'm just back. In, there's not enough places. Maybe in the crossroom, I gotta take a picture of myself. Oh. Nothing happened. Crossroom. No. Was this one again? Ah, fuck me in the face. I need something to remove the lock. Is it in a locker? All it says is E. I don't understand this weird look inside a locker's mechanic. It's weird and I don't like it. What is that noise? Nothing. Is that a noise? Damn it. I'm so lost, confused, and co confused. I'm confused twice. Wait a minute. I I've went through this. I went through this crack of the wall. Maybe the spot I'm supposed to go is to the left. Go, 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 go. Fuck! I will find the truth. That picture time. Ha! I got a selfie of the bullshit that is this section of the game. Where's the crossroom? Guys, it's official. I'm really bad at pathing. But we all knew that already. So nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. Oh my goodness. You know, at some point in time, game, you're gonna have to tell Detective Beard where that crossroom is. Because if he keeps walking, what? I, I I could swear that we just looked at it. Oh, I'm just... I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Is that... Okay, hang on. Hang on, wait. I swear to God. I'm not as stupid as I seem right now. I'm not. It's just, it's just impossible. Yeah? Where am I going now? This way. This is a simple mathematical equation. Zen, you you always know what you're doing. You're right! I always know what I'm doing, Ika. Which is exactly what you just said to me. Oh, bollocks. Aha! Damn it. I, I was hoping that, like, I if I scream... Wait a minute! There are skulls right there! I was hoping if I very confidently scream aha, the game would get surprised and be like, Oh! You found the answer, Zen. I obviously, you're a genius, but that's not what happened. Don't worry, the game is testing me right now. The game is testing how much I can tolerate walking back and forth between the same fucking rooms for the next three hours. What is this? What is this?
Now I can't even get back to the elevator. I'm so lost. Elevator! I'm not lost. Okay, I know what to do. Camera time. Camera time. That... It didn't work. Guys. Guys, it didn't work. What? Wait, what? What? Uh, huh? What the... Uh, I don't remember picking up a co Okay. No surprises, son. I don't remember picking up a combination anywhere. The game just decided to do it. No surprise, bit. Damn it. Yay! Science Zen! Acid mixture. Zen is smart. Zen guy, the science knight. I can reach the next level through the opening. Wait, what? How self-aware are you, game? Should I give it a try? What the? What the? What the? Good to see you, detective. Here to crack another case? Of course, otherwise I would get rusty. Hey, Elric, the autopsy just came in. Any good news? No, she was not poisoned. She has no internal damage and her liver was a mess. We already knew she was a heavy drinker, so we have nothing. Better check her background. Chief Inspector Rodrigo. Uh, detective, how's the investigation going? Still looking, sir. But we brought in, uh, DT Detective, uh, Greenhill to help. That's not too reassuring. Wow, he's saying I suck. Have you seen me do a science? Anyway, we found another body that I sent to, a, uh, to, uh, I sent a unit to gather evidence. I will assign it to your team so you can double your efforts. I want this crazy bastard caught before the news blows up. Well, it's just out of proportion. Wait, so if I took the lady's case, what, would I be, like, sitting there trying to figure out about her stalker? Huh. Multiple playthroughs? You do suck. Just look at your stream. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. What, what is the name of the victim? You let... Oh! She's fucking dead. I I just killed Abakage's character. Are we sure it's the same guy? Same MO, so get on it. Hey, Elric, you alright? Sure, I am fine. Don't worry, the chief may act tough, but he's a nice guy once you get to know him. Lovely. Wow. I I let Abakage's character die. Guys, you told me to refuse the quest. You told me to do it. I'm gonna take a picture before I die. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I'm gonna take a picture of this too. What do you mean it's still your fault? You got... Ika literally says Zen refuse it. As Zen refuses it, and then Ika blames Zen. Looks like an old class book. 
some of the names have been kind of. I was hoping the noise would loop, but it didn't. What a weird office! Old and dusty. Like Ica. I, I need a key for this door. I got you now, son! I've seen this shit happen. I think it moves. Fucking normal. What is this? Bendy in the ink machine? What the fuck? Wait a minute. That wasn't like that before. Ah! Oh, item! Wait a minute, what? I swear there was an interactive for a second. Okay. I got a vinyl record. Oh, what the fuck? This is a normal. I need more items. This sounds like another myth Ica's making up right now. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh. That was my bad. I saw that shit! Don't fuck with me, game. I'm watching you on my magic doohickey camera. Something is holding it shut. I was... It's this fucking asshole! Blind his ass! Get blinded! Okay. I've done it. What was that? Crickety crack. Is that ice cream? Hey, another ri doll. I guess I'm just collecting this shit now. This is normal. This is normal. Totally normal. Yep, yep, yep. Can't go further. Camera time. Stop. Camera time. It's 82 degrees in your apartment? Well, what's the problem, Mika? You're part burrito. I thought you liked heat.
Shit's getting weirder. Also, I can't actually hear this music. This fuck. Wait a minute, why don't I just pick this shit up and put it on his head? Give me this. Damn it. What the, the there's just a homeless guy in my office. It's good to see someone that's still kicking. What are you doing here? I want to hide from the rain. This place looks cozy enough. Better than the streets, I reckon. But not safer, though. What? Did you see anything unusual? I suggest you leave, stranger. This is not a very lively place. Don't disturb the building. I cannot leave now. I'm looking for someone. Was it you who turned all the lights on? Yes. The air got heavier. They are not happy. Oh. You'll see. You managed to get out of the basement. They won't let you leave anymore. I will leave after I find who I'm looking for. As you wish, just don't disturb the building. He might have schizophrenia. He might not be schizophrenic. You fuck. Stop it. Give me that. Am I about to pour bleach into that thing's eyes? Perfect! I'm very happy. I thought I was just gonna get a bag. Fuck you! I was expecting hearing a very loud scream. I didn't hear it. Got all the dolls. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm so stupid. Is this where I put my magical dolls? That do magic stuff? Nope! Everything looks the goddamn same to me. Every hallway, every corridor, everything. Now I take a picture. supposed to do now saving and going upstairs as I slowly went up the stairs I could he remember it clearly or brought me here got any news you found out that girls uh, attended the same school they were even classmates after looking over the graduation doc we found out that most of the people left that city except Miss Reedens Miss Rouse and one more well Thomas Wren. He lives with his younger sister and works as a garbage collector. We got his address. I suggest we start there. He's the only connection between the victims and the school that was closed two years after they graduated. The same school. What was that? That had an alarming body count. Drop it, Green Hill. What was going on there? 14 bodies and none mentioned in the papers? The headmaster couldn't have covered up all this by himself. Elric. You guys wanted my help, well you, well, you better fill me in on the details. Chief? What I am about to tell you better not leave these walls. It all started with an accident. A careless boy fell down the stairs and broke his neck. Later that month, a girl hanged herself without leaving any note. A month later, a boy was found dead in the elevator. Cause of death, suffocation. The next month, another accident happened. A boy cut his wrist in an empty classroom. You get the point? Because of all these coincidences, we were called in to investigate. You know what we found? Nothing. No connections. No motives. 
One day the kids were fine, the next day they were cold. We knew that all these were connected, but had nothing to show for it. To avoid public outrage and more debts and countless conspiracies, we convinced the headmaster uh, to file for bankruptcy. So you found nothing? There was nothing. Besides, the place is abandoned now. Nobody goes near it. If Mr. Rin ends up being the culprit, I suggest you send a car to check out the school. Make sure he is not crawling around the place. Biku, get your men and pay Mr. Rin a visit. And you, Green Hill, if you think the school is relevant, then I'll gladly send you uh, you and two more officers to search for the building. Oh, and one of the officers was already dead. Ask the janitor for help. Well, not the end of the stream, but this is the end of the video. I think the game is fantastic, and I'm probably going to play more of it. So, if you like it, then you should totally subscribe to the YouTube channel. Sounds like a good idea? I think it sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. But, I will see you all later. Goodbye!